Have you ever been rickrolled by somebody? For those who are not familiar with this part of meme culture, rickrolling refers to a joke where an unsuspecting internet user is directed to YouTube via a link. The person thinks that he will see an interesting or entertaining video, but instead he or she has to listen to the song Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Not the greatest joke of all time, but a common one. After all, the video has more than 900 million views. It was uploaded in 2009, but it's originally from 1987 and shows the young singer Rick Astley dancing around in a very 80s way. But why am I telling you about this? And what does it have to do with AI? Well, AI played a key role in remaking this video and allowing it to have another comeback. But this time it's in 4K. Welcome to the Inimaginations channel. If you are interested in AI or other related topics, please consider subscribing. It almost seems like this version of the video was shot with a modern camera and an 80s filter. The high resolution of a video that was shot more than 30 years ago is almost scary when you consider that cinemas only started showing movies in 4K in 2011. So how is that possible? As you might have guessed, there is an AI behind it. More specifically, to pass Video Enhance AI, a software that makes it possible to digitally post-process old videos or movies. Videos that have been compressed or recorded with poor quality from the beginning can be edited with the help of such software and look like modern cinema footage. However, it is important to note that the additional details that are created are not real. Poor resolution and compression always means that information is missing. And this information can't be restored. It needs to be reimagined. This is done by us every time we see a picture or video. Let's take a look at this picture. Can you see what it is? Maybe not. But if I show you the original image, and now back to the low resolution one, and you will see that your brain is making up details that are not even visible on the picture. You can imagine that the left ear probably goes something like this, although it looks different here. We can imagine things like this because we have already seen a lot of pictures in different resolutions and because we know what a human looks like. Instead of us imagining what a picture or a video might look like in higher resolution, special artificial intelligence is used to do exactly the same thing and is also able to change the image accordingly and display it in a higher resolution. This technique is called upscaling and it is also used by major studios for their remastered versions of older movies. For example, the 4K version of The Lord of the Rings. Reshooting scenes is impossible and digital post-production is sometimes very inexpensive, especially if you let an AI do most of the work. But it's not only older movies that can be edited by AI. New animated movies also use AI technology, for example, to correct errors that often occur during regular video rendering. In order to do this, AI needs to know how certain things look like. Sometimes it's simple. A line that looks like this in a video is almost certainly a straight line in reality. And the same goes for curves and circles. However, when it comes to creating textures, such as the surface of a skin, an AI always tends to draw smooth surfaces that look unrealistic. For such cases, an AI needs to be adjusted and trained with many images of skin to create a decent result. The one AI that can perfectly imagine every detail of a picture does not exist and in the end AI doesn't know what skin actually is. You see that this kind of AI is already widely used and that there is a large variety of use cases. The possibilities are growing day by day. Maybe one day it will also be possible to digitally enhance old family videos with ease. But who needs this if we already have Rick Astley in 4K? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you do, let me know in the comments what you want to know about AI. See you all soon.